Something else I'm confused about, Charlie. This, that's the, the running theme, I guess, today. Shit, Bill's confused. Bill's confusion. Yeah. Bill's confused. <laughs> um, why are we hearing... And again, you and I probably just spend way too much time on Twitter. Uh, I say, I like, listen, I work there. I got to get show ideas from Twitter. Of course. Uh, and certainly I did today. Um, why are we hearing so much from fans of the Montreal Canadiens? Uh, <laughs> it's actually really funny. Like this, they seem obsessed with the Flyers and Danny Briere. Like, does this... Is this all about them passing on Mishkov? Is this about the summer of 2007 when Danny signed here and not there? Why is it like a thing for Habs fans right now to be really pumping up their own tires by comparing themselves to another team that isn't trying to win? Like we have, this is like that, that mid off meme. Like they're, they're having a mid off. These two having a mid off. Like (laughs) they finished eighth in their division, like three years in a row. The flyers just had their best season in years by almost making the play. Like we have two teams that stink. What, what, what is going on here that they have suddenly made us their rival, Charlie? What, what is, why is this happening? Yeah, it's entirely Mave Mechkov. It is 100% entirely Mave Mechkov. So to give you the background here, really what it is, is that Mave Mechkov started slipping in last year's draft. The, the Montreal Canadiens had picked number five. The assumption on the part of online Montreal fans was that oh my God, we're going to get Matvey Mitchkoff. This is the greatest thing ever. Instead, they take David Reinbacher, who, like, not a bad prospect. I think the general consensus was he doesn't have superstar upside. He's more of a, like, swinging for a butt rather than a home run. Like, yeah, maybe he can be a top pair defensive, but, like, he's not going to be like Alex Petrangelo. Like, he could be a good defenseman. So, first, Montreal fans went batshit on their front office. That was the initial reaction. It was all of that anger and frustration. And some of that still exists, to be clear. There are some Montreal fans that are still like, this is insane that you didn't take Mitch Koff and you took Ryan Bogger, who didn't even have that great of a draft plus one year anyway. So the anger is still there. Then Montreal started leak, selectively leaking the reasons for not taking Mitch Koff. And it really settled in on two things that they... They, they tried a bunch of different lines, but they really settled on two that I think they realized were the most acceptable to Montreal fans. Number one was, we don't think he's as good as, as everyone else does. Our evaluation is that, you know, he's not, his game isn't going to translate as well as y'all think. The second one was, we have, in, we have inside information that Mitch Koff is a piece of shit. That's where a lot of the info okay. about Mitch Koff having problems with teammates, it's all stemming from Montreal. Because my understanding is that, one, I think it's Montreal's scouting director or one of their top scouts has deep connections with Scott St. Petersburg. Okay. And the assumption is, is that he heard from people with Scott that Mitch Koff is a piece of shit, and that's why we took him off our board. So that that all came out. Then it then became there were some people in the Montreal online fan base that continued to shit on the Canadians for for passing on Mitchkoff, but some turned to actually the the Canadians were right and Mitchkoff is overrated and he's not going to be that good. It really got kicked off. That group got like sent into the stratosphere though when Montreal then took Demidoff. Because then suddenly it became, well, our Russian is better than your Russian for all the reasons that the organization has been feeding us for a year. And actually, Demidov is better than Mitchkov because we think he is because he's our guy. And Flyers fans on Twitter, who, of course, are never ones to shy away from a fight, <laughs> are going back at Montreal fans with full force about how it's insane that you're arguing that Demidov is better than Mitchkov, given the fact that, like, Mitchkov is doing this in the KHL and Demidov has been doing this in, like, the Russian Junior League. Look, we don't know yet who's going to be the better player. However, the preponderance of statistical evidence <laughs> would imply that Mitchkov is the superior prospect at this moment in time, given that one guy's doing it against pros and one guy's doing it against junior hockey players. You would, it would lead you to think that. But again, like, I never make myself out to be some prospect expert. I have no goddamn idea. And honestly, I have no idea what's going on in Montreal overall. Like, I know of the Reinbacher and uh, Mishkov situation. Thanks. You know, like, but like, I, 
I simply do not concern myself with the Canadiens. Like, if I were to write out a list of teams I don't like uh, and a list of teams I do like, I don't know if Montreal is on either yeah, list. Yeah, they're just like a whatever like, they're team. They're just there. I, I, mean, I really like Montreal as a city, one of my favorite cities. They have cool jerseys. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, um, little look behind the curtain here. Might be a trip coming up. Could be. Uh, but uh, this kind of makes me want to do it more now. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. If this is a possibility, it would be a lot of fun. Uh, I just like, I can't imagine being in their situation. Full rebuild, last place every year. And worrying about another team that's also re- like, I don't know, man. Worry about the Leafs. Like they seem to be, you know, like yeah. they're right there. Yeah. Like, I just, no, no, to it's be clear, crazy to me that they care at all about the Flyers. This is entirely it's not 1976. This is entirely Montreal fan driven. Yes, like and and there's <laughs> there's a guy who purports to be a draft expert who really is just a Montreal Canadiens fan who has also sparked this. I'm not going to say his name because I don't particularly respect his opinions, but he basically said, I think on a podcast that like he's actively rooting for Mitch Koff to fail because like, it's I guess normal. it would be, it would be good for the Canadians if Mitch Koff failed. Like he's, he's just, he's, he's a Habs fan. Not, he's a Habs fan who purports to be objective, but he's not. Not for Reinbacher to succeed and exceed all expectations. Mishkov needs, Mishkov to fail. needs to fail. Because clearly they fucked up the pick. Exactly. So <laughs> like, this that's is an admission that you yes, fucked up the yes. pick. This is entirely from Montreal's side. <laughs> and Flyers fans, well, like I definitely can roll my eyes at Flyers Twitter on numerous occasions. They are very much battling back. Like <laughs> they are reacting to the craziness of Habs fans on Twitter. This is not Flyers fans really like, ha ha, you didn't take Mitchkov. It is Habs fans having a meltdown because their team didn't take Mitchkov. And Flyers fans being like, you can't actually seriously believe that Demidov is a better prospect than Mitchkov, right? Like <laughs> you, you don't actually think that. Like this is all, this is all an extended bit, right? You're not and that crazy. Like, it's now like I've just seen so much about like Danny specifically. Like, oh my god, have you seen his re-signings? I'm like, yes, very closely. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> like I don't even particularly like the TK contract. It's not bad. Like it's, I don't know if it's good. We'll see. Like mm. only time will tell if he ages well. Yeah. But, in the next four years, it's probably completely fine. Like the Fedotov thing is what it is. They had to pay him to leave the league. Yeah, and yeah like, exactly. You had to get him over here. Yeah. And right now, cap space doesn't matter, so I don't give a shit. Really, what it boils down like, to is people on Twitter like to win arguments. <laughs> what is so, it? So, it so this has become an argument, and it started with Mitch. It started with just Mitchkov. Then it became Mitchkov versus Demidov. Now it is. Who is the better Can't franchise? To, yeah, yeah, like, which is insane. Like, you're the but Yankees. It's, it's, Why do you care about anyone? It's Flyers you're social the, media. Like, it's hockey social media. It's insane. The Montreal Canadiens are the New York Yankees. Like, you shouldn't give a shit about anyone. Yeah. It should be your league. And it's like, I used to work on You Better You Bet with uh, Nick Costos, and he's a Yankees fan. And he's just like, I believe that the World Series is my birthright. And everyone else is just kind of playing in my league for second place. Like that's okay, but that's how Canadians fans should feel. I, like I, you're yeah, the Montreal yeah. Canadiens. I do think too that this does speak to an inherent difference between Montreal fans and and Philadelphia fans. Not Flyers fans. I'm talking about like Philadelphia fans in general, because in these types of situations, like. Philadelphia fans would not let their organization off the hook. Yeah, like, it's, the- like it's not I'm, – I'm going to go back to the Eagles. Like, Philadelphia Eagles fans did not come around fully on Brandon Graham until he literally directly led to a title. Made it's not, the biggest play in like, franchise history. It's not like they spent the entirety of the 2010s trying to argue with Seattle Seahawks fans yeah. that actually Brandon Graham was better than Earl Thomas. They spent the entirety of the 2010s yelling at the Eagles for passing on Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas breaks his leg. It's like, yeah, way to go, Howie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still not a good pick. Yeah, like, like Philadelphia fans Turn would turn all of their anger, all of their yes. anger on the front office, not decide to create a no, actually, our guy is better debate like, with the team that picked the guy they like, all really, really wanted in the first place. We now have AJ Brown and Devonta Smith, and people are still like, fucking Jalen Reger, though. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Are we still worried about that? <laughs> yep, they are. So uh, I, I just do think that, thing, that that is an inherent difference between Philadelphia fans, you, which like we. We naturally are going to blame 
our teams. Yes. Whereas other fan base, like Cowboys fans are the same <laughs> way. The, they blame everyone else. That's the thing is like when people, I said this the other day, when people like try to talk shit about me to talk shit about the flyers to me, I'm like, no one talks more shit about the flyers than me. <laughs> like you can't possibly offend me by telling me they're a bad organization. I agree. <laughs> I've made it a career. Like, yeah, they haven't won a cup since 75. I know. I bring it up all the time. I'm pissed about it. Like, there's nothing I can do about it, though. Yeah. If there was, I would. Yeah. Uh, I just – did it ever – and then we got to get to the reads. Right. Um, did it ever come out – because I know there was a thing like Mishkov may have kind of orchestrated his fall a little bit. By saying, like, yeah, I ain't going to Arizona. Get the fuck out of here. That did, did he ever tell Montreal, no, I'm not signing I have not, At least no, no, it's going to no. be three years. I have not heard anything okay. about that. I What I do know is that the Flyers were the only team he visited. So he clearly had a destination in mind. But I have heard that he specifically told Arizona, Arizona yeah. don't draft me. I'm not signing with you. Which, like, fair. Yeah. Totally understandable. They don't exist anymore. I have never heard that he specifically told Montreal that I will not sign with you. I had heard, though, at the draft after that happened that Montreal specifically was selling the argument that they didn't want Mitch Call for reasons. Okay. So I guess it theoretically could have been like a, you know, like I'm not, you know, you're not breaking up with me. I'm breaking up with you first kind of thing. But I heard I have heard nothing to tell me that Mitch Call straight up told Montreal I will not sign with you. I do think he probably did not go out of his way to like interview with them and tell them how much he wanted to be a hab the same way he did with the flyers. But I do not think he straight up told Montreal. No, I'm not. I won't play for you. Okay. We all city like the mayor. 